had a really good talk with Kim. I was late on my call. It's just been crazy. I'm trying to, like usual, cram too many things uh, in my short period of time. Right. But what was really great in the call, though, um, was she's, you know, she's she sees all of my coaches. She knows, you know, and she follows, and she called out two coaches that are just flooding the news feed and not necessarily like fits right on her, but just flooding her news feed. She sees it of just negativity, right? Like that's just what they're putting out. And that's fine. Life happens. Shit happens. It's not always going to be great. But I think the difference is that if you really want to make this a successful business and that you have to have that mindset that your Facebook is no longer your dirty laundry journal diary bullshit. You know, that's not what your Facebook is anymore. Um, your Facebook is now your business, whether it's your personal page or your fit page. It is setting the tone for how you are and what kind of person, what kind of business, brand, and connection that you're going to have. So yes, if you're going through hard times, you know, in life, personal struggle, turmoil, husbands, ex-husbands, children, you know, whatever it is, it's, of course, it's human nature and it's perfectly fine to sort of open up and, and vent a little bit, but when it comes to being that's the majority of all your posts and that's the drive of your post, um, then it just starts to detract people and people aren't going to want to then follow your journey. They're not going to want to seek your help. Because they already figure, well, she can't get her shit together, so why do I want to? Why do I want to, want to be helped by her? Or right. if I'm going through a hard time, she's probably not going to be that go-to person that I'm going to confide in. Right. Um, so it was really great that she sort of put that per perspective in my mind, and and so, of course, then that stems, from, you know, then for me, you know, like uh, I'm overall, you know, like the leader. And, you know, and so I, I need to step up and not necessarily that I'm not setting a good example, but I need to step in and intervene and sort of rein, rein them back in as far as having a better understanding of um, <clears throat> the amount of negativity and how you're putting it out there. You know, that, yeah, you may not care about what other people's opinions are, but that's not what you want to put out. <laughs> Right. Even though you may not care, like for me, I don't really care whether or not people like tattoos or don't like tattoos, but I'm not going to flat out say, I don't care if you don't like tattoos, because then I just completely turned off people who don't like tattoos. Right. You know, and that doesn't define me, and I don't feel like that that should define them on their opinion, whether they like them or don't like them, you know, um, so it's like, same thing, you know, like, whether or not you have a really, you know, a great ex-husband or not such a great ex-husband, that that shouldn't be defining you, especially um, as a person and then you trying to build a business that's supposed to be about positivity and empowering women, you know, and being independent. <laughs> if all you do is you just start putting, either putting men down, that's not really empowering women anyways. Right. Right. And then if you just keep putting them down and keep putting down the situation that you're in and you don't flip it and sh showing like shining a light on, well, you know what, from this adversity, I'm stronger, you know, through my personal development, through Beachbody, you're having this community of strong women. I've realized that, you know, that I no longer have to settle or, you know, take, take it. I know I have an alternative, you know, or I'm setting myself up for financial stability, you know, so I no longer have to always feel like I need to be reliant on another man or whatever it is, you know what I mean? Like, you can switch it. That's, so yes, you can do your venting, but don't just leave it at bleh. You know, nobody wants that. They're not coming on Facebook to just sort of take on your shit. We already have our own. <laughs> we don't need right. to take on more people's stuff, you know, so we want to hear oh, she's going through a lot of crap, but, and then you take a positive spin on it. And, you know, I did try to, um, you know, connect with the two ladies and let them know 
uh, I don't know if I really connected with one and the other one I have not gotten any response back. She's one of my personally sponsored coaches anyways. Um, so we'll see. But I did go ahead and I'm getting out of my funk and for real. Like I'm just, I really am shedding it and I sort of focus and I look back on my fit page and even my YouTube channel and I realize, holy crap, I don't even remember when the last time I did a move of the day. It I think was when I first started hammer and chisel. So that was probably yeah. in December-ish, I think. Uh -huh. So yeah, you know, that's like a huge indicator. I've dropped that. I'm barely, I'm like, I'm, I'm scheduling my posts, but I'm really not thoughtfully and like efficiently like scheduling my posts. It was more just like, schedule it just to say I scheduled it and I can check it off my list. You know what I mean? Like it was just, I just need to check the shit off and I'm not really even thinking much about it. And that's horrible because in turn, you can tell that it's just sort of like throw it up in the air. There's no organization whatsoever. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, so I really got back into how I used to do things. So I dusted off my blue binder that has my freaking calendar and I went ahead and I went on Etsy and I found the lady who, um, who I loved her business planner and, I, and that's why I shared on the team page. Um, it's $8 and you get like, let's see. I mean, it's, I don't even know, maybe 50 pages of things. So you have the entire month or entire month, entire year. So she did it differently. She did it in two pages for the oh, that's backwards <laughs> for the entire month, which I like. It's bigger because before she fit one month on an entire page. So the boxes were really tiny, and I was trying to sho shove everything in. So every month it's like this, which I like. And she added some goals that are different for every month. So that's new, where you have your physical, financial, relationship, career, and spiritual. So it's sort of nice right then and there, you have that space to sort of think about and set yourself up for that month. Um, so this is like the rest of the year. Then these ones, you could like laminate them, which I may do. So it's the entire week. So you can laminate them and then you can just do dry erase, you know, markers. So week of, and it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then, um, Weekly goals, and then on the back is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Or, yeah, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And on the top is like your positive affirmation for the week. So if you wanted to have like a, a specific, you know, quote or something that, you know, just keeps you going, you could do that. So that's something cool that, you know, you could just print it off on some thicker paper, laminate it so that you can every week just reuse it. Another one is, the, is an activity tracker, which is, again, something you could also laminate. Um, and again, it goes through the entire week. Um, and so it's just sort of like the different posts that we're supposed to be doing, you know, being the proof the product works. So obviously your workout and your shake, check. Um, did you do 10 minutes of personal development? Check in your back office. Did you follow up? Social media posts, so three to five posts, 80% are personal, 20% is um, inviting like for your challenge groups and stuff like that. Did you do two to five new contacts? You know, two to five new people inviting to a new challenge group, two to three people a day uh, talking with the coach opportunity. Did you check in on your challenge groups and did you check in on the team page? So it seems like a lot, but it's nice to have it all here so you can sort of keep track. Um, the bottom is like these weekly totals. So if you have, you have like challenge group goals, I'm trying to get this to focus. I see it. It's not really focusing, but yeah. You know, coaching opportunity invite. So if you have like a, a goal, you could set that. Or if you could, or you can just tally each time, you know, you have it. And this is from a Beachbody girl? This is, um, I think she's Beachbody, yeah. It's on Etsy and she has, she only has three different like styles. But yeah, she makes one every single year. And then she just, um, she sells the digital images. So if you want, there's more of those like awesome list. There's like a right leg and a left leg. If you actually wanted to like have a paper copy. Um, That's a good idea. Yeah. 
you want to have just that paper copy, there's like a prospect list if you like that. You know, for me, I just do all my Excel, but you know, it might be easier. There's a challenger list. So if you want to keep a list of them, like your challenge groups, this would actually be sort of good to do um, if you're doing like a contest, you know, to keep track. Maybe like that biggest loser, like that drop a turkey, you know, you're keeping right. track of their measurements or um, weight and stuff like that. That's a good list. We have a follow-up list. And then you could do this. This, and this would actually be sort of uh, some of the top coaches will do like a, oh, what do they do? It's like a, like a featured coach of the week or the month or whatever, you know. Like, so this is something that does be my top producing one. So if you want to just already have a file, like some – info about them so that when you do want to do it you're going to automatically share so you know their family their hobbies their why goals personality gem personal strengths and weaknesses you know if you wanted to keep track of that there's a coach call log which i don't know who keeps track of that every single time um and then this is like personal this is what i always send out in the getting started right you know you need to know your coach id your upline coach um, important websites, important numbers, and then the last ones are fun because they're just like your brilliant ideas. You know, give me a spot to one collective place to put everything instead of like a million things like I do. Usually, um, so that's what you get. All of that, which I think is really useful, and you can just put in a binder, and it's all there. Um, what I wanted to break down and sort of share with you, and I'll share my screen too, is how I used to and how I am getting back into pre-planning and thinking ahead of all of my posts. And at first it's going to take you a little bit, but um, for the most part, you're already sort of used to what kinds of posts and what really works for your group of followers that... Um, it's not that hard. So for me, I went ahead and I thought of, okay, what types of posts do I want to have my followers like know that every day there's going to be like this one different theme, you know? So like on Sundays, every Sunday, everyone's going to be able to expect first thing in the morning, like a quote, an inspirational kind of motivator. And I just do that on Sundays just because, you know, usually most people go to church or they're spiritual, you know, that's sort of like a day to sort of set their, set their mind and get ready for the, for the rest of the week. So I have that. That's like already something I can pre-schedule, right? I don't have to think about that. It's not like a move of the day or selfie or my shake or anything. That's right. something that I can do ahead. Mondays, I'm actually going to try to switch up my shake technology recipes. <laughs> So I'm going to share every day a new recipe. Oh my. I may just say, guess what? I'm boring and I'm going back to my old thing. But I feel like, you know, that would help people too to realize and just see like the, the versatility of Shakeology that you can, you know, mix it with orange juice. You could, you know, add this or you can in or, you know what I mean? Like how they, a lot of people do, you know, like the holidays or whatever season. Right. I don't ever do that, so I'm going to try. Um, Tuesday, yeah. I think I have one for from last year, St. Patrick's Day, a green one, I think. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, I'll have to look at it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Tuesdays are going to be like transformation, so either mine or, you know, other people, something like that. Wednesdays, I always liked I did recipes, so I would always highlight one specific new recipe on Wednesdays. Um, Thursday. So maybe a container day? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Thursdays is going to be rank and recognition because that's, you know, when we when we get our rank and, you know, payday and stuff like that. Um, Friday, I'm going to really try to focus on, like, success stories. And it doesn't even have to be, like, this amazing weight loss transformation. Do you know what I mean? Like, it can just be, like, an aha moment either for myself that, like, I want to – um, like those non-scale victories, I guess is what I should really put. And acknowledge, you know, like the little things, like getting out of my own way kind of a thing. Or, um, you know, 
you know, relationship issues and how I was able to like, oh, you know, listening to such and such, you know, podcast was able to get me out of my own funk or my own head and actually like think, oh, how is my husband thinking in his, on his side? And I'm like, oh, okay, so maybe he's not so crazy <laughs> and I'm a little off sometimes. You know, so thinking of it that way, not always having a success story having to be fitness related, but, um, you know, because we sort of overlook all the different kinds of, you know, successes or progress that we have made um, either day to day or within that week, that month kind of a thing, you know. Like you could even like highlight, you know, like a success story for you and that would be like wrong. You know, yeah. <laughs> you never thought that he would, he would, he would, you know, actually he, or he never thought he would enjoy drinking Shakeology and now like he can't go a day without. That's a success, you know. He's not going to be like this weight loss story because he didn't have any weight to lose. Right. But that's a non-scale visit. Beer, though. Yeah. Oh, for sure. You know, so that's like a success. That's like one. And then like you can do another one where like he's, you know, y'all are meal prepping together. That's a success that you never thought, you know, y'all would do that. Right. Because it was always so separate. So think, I want you to, I get to say something. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, cha-ching. My husband and me don't even get along, but he loves Jake Aldi. Just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> He's like, that is the best tasting stuff ever. So there's my input. I'm just driving and listening. Go ahead. So you can, so that's something you could like, if, uh, out of anything that's going on, you know, hey, the one right. thing, I may not be able to be getting like this right or communicating well with him right now, but Shakeology is working for him or he enjoys Shakeology. You know what I mean? Like you can put a spin on it. I would totally right. do that. make it work for you. Um, and then Saturdays, I just thought of it because I do like to do like these DIY project kind of things. And that, and Mike and Kim, she sort of threw out there like, if that's something that you like to do, then you need to make it not so like random and sporadic kind of a thing, you know? Um, I was like, okay, so so I'm going to set it where, like, every Saturday there's sort of, like, a quick little, like, DIY kind of a thing that either I found interesting or here's what I – here's my newest project that I'm doing. Um, because, you know, we're always changing. We're finding new hobbies and stuff like that. So we just sort of have to not haphazardly throw it out there, you know, um, and actually let people know, like, consistently, like, hey, this is now something that I do like. Um, and this is something that's, I'm always evolving and changing in who I am. And this is another part of it. So for right now, yeah, I like DIY things. And, I mean, I should have thought about that. I mean, half my damn furniture in this house is, like, shabby chic to be painted by me. So, duh. <laughs> you would have thought that when I think about, oh, what defines me? I would have put that there. So I have my entire week of there's always, I already know, there's one specific post that needs to be um, designated about that. And some of them I can pre-post, some of them maybe not. You know, like um, rank of recognition, maybe not, unless I know ahead of time for sure. Um, and so, like, if anybody within Fixed Fire Empire, if you see that they rank advanced, you know, recognize acknowledge that you know what I mean like that's just more exposure um you know you just don't put it off as if you're saying like it's one of your coaches you know but you're you're still excited because it's still someone from our team and that's you know our family and our community um and then like obviously my shakeology recipe I can't do ahead of time because I'll probably do like a video on that and I did know I did also recognize that I haven't really been doing quality videos I've been doing like these random like, <laughs> oh, here, let's do a throw up a video really quick, you know, and <laughs> there's really nothing amazing or content in there. So, um, yeah, really being mindful more about like my videos. Videos are like king though because people would rather watch something than read, you know, paragraph, paragraph long. Plus, they can actually – get a better idea of who you are and your personality and your tone. You know, like if you're really sarcastic, sometimes words being read does not come off that way. It comes off really bitchy. Or I do that a lot too, where I used to be like that and sometimes I still am, where it's sort of like, 
I can do it, so why can't you? Kind of attitude in my in my words, and that's not really what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to motivate, but the words I'm choosing is not motivating. It's actually like putting people off. Um, so that I've had to learn. If I'm going to do something like that, just do a damn video. People can actually like really hear your passion. If it's something funny and that you actually think like it's funny, then maybe read it to somebody else. And if they don't find it funny, you do a video on it. Like that's the thing I've learned is I have to sit back sometimes and go back and like read it and like, okay, how would somebody who like doesn't know me, would they take that full face value at like really understanding my post? Like when I posted about these two Hummers coming out of the Mormon church, uh, totally did not, I had to like backtrack and explain. I was like, mm, I did not reread that and think about how somebody would respond to that. You know, I should have been like suspicious activity to Hummers leaving a Mormon church, right? I didn't say that. I missed the word suspicious and it totally like blew up in my face. You know, people are like, well, why are two Hummers be suspicious or Mormons are really hardworking. And I'm like, yeah, I know they're hardworking. That didn't, I didn't like mean it that way, you know, but that was foot and mouth and I didn't reread it thinking about what someone else would think. Uh, so yeah, thankfully that just went away. Thank God. Because that could have been where one were like, those posts of mine were just go on and on. I'm like, oh, I really should delete this. So thank you. It did not. Um, so I want to show you. So here's what I wrote down for my on one side. So I reminded myself daily, move of the day, engaging question, and selfie. Right? And that's another thing, too, that I haven't really been doing is those engaging questions. And those are questions that have nothing to do with with fitness or anything. It's literally just to try to like trick people in actually interacting on my fit page, right? So that's where I've got to really think of like, it could be off the wall, you know? Like that's where it's like, which bikini do you like? You know, like Kim does that all the time. Or I don't know, like what should I have for lunch today? Do you know what I mean? Like any of those kinds of things. Or if you could do anything, for a week, you know, what would you want to be or where would you want to go? You know, those kinds of questions that people so all day. feel. Huh? Once a day? Yes. Once a day. So that people won't feel, because um, sometimes people are not confident in, you know, commenting, say, yes, I'm in, I want to join a challenge group, but they're fully comfortable with, you know, did you have a C-section, you know, or, or did you, you know, deliver naturally? <laughs> People are fine, open answer, those questions, but about weight loss, no, they won't comment below. They won't even click like on the picture, you know. Um, and then, of course, you know, our selfie, and we usually, we don't really forget that, but, you know, just put it on there because sometimes you never know. So that's where you're easily going to be able to get three to five posts a day. You've already got like a move of the day. You have an engaging question. Your, you know, your your selfie, you know, showing that you worked out, and then your shake. So that's usually two different ones. So that's four right there. Plus, then your designated um, day of the week post. That's five already. When are you inviting? So that's another thing. So you have to. Before you decide and, and plan it out, you need to pick the day, obviously, like that you want your challenge group to start. So mine's starting on, this, on the 22nd, so I'm just going to call it MM Challenge Group, right? So I write it down. Right. MM Challenge Group. So from there, I will then go ahead and do two days before is going to be like my last push. And I start backwards. I think of... My post, I'm like, okay, my last call, I've only got two spots left, or, you know, you know, that kind of a thing. And then I will go ahead and do no more than three a week of, like, a challenge group of, like, push, promoting it, you know, no more than three. So you just pick your days. Um, it's going to be different for everyone. That's where you're going to go ahead and you look into your insights 
on your Facebook page. And maybe you'll be able to see what days you have more reach. <clears throat> you know, um, do you know what I mean? How you can see like yeah. tracking what right. day of the week more people are hitting it. Um, and then you pick those days and then you can also look specifically at what time. What time are more people um, engaging or, or coming to your page? So for me, it's usually like this huge gap Any yeah. between like 10 a.m. and like 9 p.m. So then I'll just pick three different times throughout the week, you know what I mean? So maybe one, one, one post I'm doing at 10 a.m. Then a few days later, the next one I'm going to do maybe 2 or 3 p.m. And the next one I'm going to do like 9 or 10. So maybe I'll get them when like they work, they're waking up or whatever. Maybe then afternoon, lunch, or they're taking like a break from work. And then before they go to bed, after they've just picked out <laughs> on stuff they shouldn't have. <laughs> they're guilty. They're like, oh, okay, I really should do this. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I do it. Um, Anita Myron, she has it where the first week of the month, she always does like a free clean eating. And then in that free clean eating group, she's then talking about how to set yourself up to continue for success. And that's joining the challenge group. That's getting the challenge pack. So then you've got two weeks. She usually has it in the middle of the week, middle of the week, middle of the month. She's starting her actual challenge group. And then she, in the, during that challenge group, she's working on, you know, you're starting to find some success, you know, and she's sharing more about the coaching part of it. And so then the last week of the month, she's talking about joining as a coach, coach basics. And then her coach basics always starts at the beginning of the month as well. Right. So, um, I've just moved away from the free clean eating group, free groups. I just, it was a lot of work and it never really, I didn't have a lot of high conversion rate. Um, just, and even like same thing with like giving out samples of Shakeology, it just never converted. You know, it was more like I needed them to, I needed to have, show them the value and invest now. And then I could then convert them into a coach. But if they hadn't already invested and really believed and, and said, you know, I'm going to do it, then free was free. And they, they were like, oh, I'm just going to try it. No big deal. I'm not even going to actually, like, put 100% in it, you know. So they still eat like shit and they drink the shake. And it's like, it's not a magic shake. It's not like you drink the shake and then all of a sudden you lost 10 pounds. Right. So that's why I just moved away from it. You know, you're, you know, Whatever works for you, maybe it works better for you to do to do a free one. Um, you know, try it out. It just it hasn't really worked for me. I would have a lot of interest um, and a lot of people, but after that, they really didn't do much. Um, so yeah, that's just where I'm at. Hold on one second. I've got someone at the door. Hi, Katie. How are you doing, Katie?
Sorry, my landscaper was here. Oh, I don't even know where I left off. Oh yeah. Um, and then I forgot. I will have to post it on the team page later. But Kim has like set already like set dates every time where we're gonna have like coach opportunity calls and stuff like that. She's already planning it ahead of time so that we can actually promote it ourselves, you know, or if you want to do it your own, you know, you can do your own. Absolutely. That's totally fine. Um, I know a lot of times we try to do like the coach basics trainings at the beginning of the month. Um, but you know, you some coaches do it at the end of the month, just depending on how they want to plan out all of their challenge groups. But so what I'm doing and I've done only, um, I've done all my quotes for this month and for next month because it's just on Sundays. And then I've done just this month's DIYs because there's only three more Saturdays left. And I just easily, when I'm done posting it, I just write like the hour and what kind of post it is. Okay. And that's it. So then I'm just like, so then I know that it's done. So then as I'm posting or creating them, I have this open. And I don't have to rely on Facebook, <clears throat> right? Because when I'm, I'm going to share my screen. Um, okay. So you should be able to see my screen now. So it's, yeah. So you can see like all of the, why is my screen? So you can see all the posts that I have. And it's all fine and great. You know, they have this long list. But sometimes it's like you forget what each of them really are. You know, if it's a recipe or recognition. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't want to have to keep like taking the time to think, oh, what was that one again? Do I have enough? So that's where I like just having it already here. And it can just be like out of my mind, like, okay, I only have to worry about, you know, on the 10th, I need a rank of recognition. I need this, this, and this, you know, I can just look at it and see instead of scrolling up and down and driving me crazy. Right. The other thing too is when you do create a new um, post, it doesn't go, it doesn't like just fit itself in chronologically. You have to refresh the page. And then it will. So, like, if I'm going to create a new one over here, it's not, it's just going to go at the top. And I could have scheduled it to go, like, the 23rd, but it's going to be here at the top. You know? So, if you don't 
refresh it, it'll just post? If you don't refresh it, it's just going to keep stacking on top. It's not going to oh. be in order. So you're not going to, you're not going to, as you're scrolling, you're not going to realize, oh crap, I already had one on the 24th at 6 p.m. And then you, I've done it so many times. Damn it, I just scheduled two at the same time or the same hour. Okay. So that's the only, that's the only reason why I don't like to just rely on the way that they, um, that they list it. I like to just keep my own paper copy. Um, the one time I like to go old school and have a keep a paper copy, <laughs> just so that I can, you know, not waste time scrolling up and down and refreshing and this and that or whatever. I can right. really see it right then and there. This is what I need to work on. These are how many posts I need for this day and move on. Um, and it's also nice too that you can go ahead and while you're getting close to the end of March, you're already thinking about April and you can look, go to your calendar and see, okay, so there's, you know, such and such days, you know, it's 30 days and there's like actual four full weeks in April. So then you can decide when would you like to start, you know, your next challenge group, because that's what you want to do by the last month of March is you're already talking about right. the next one. And you want to already have that in place. You want to have a theme. You want to be able to have an image and all that stuff already done. So you're not scrambling um, to try to figure it out. I even try to just go ahead and think of go ahead and think of maybe two or three months out of just themes, um, just so that you know you've already got that. Those, the juice is flowing, you know, thinking about it, you know, so like April, what could you do, you know, in May, what can you do as far as themes? Um, and that's something you can quickly do, you know, during your power hour is just Google, you know, right? April, April challenge groups and see what people have done in the past, you know, and then maybe add your own spin to it, um, which is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I used to do it. That's how I'm going back to doing it. <laughs> uh, and that way, I'm not just haphazardly posting and just randomly, like, hoping for the best and hoping I hit Success Club and hoping that, you know, people read it or whatever. Right. Um, so, yeah, that's – and my newest group that I've been doing, and I didn't do a very a, – very good job at promoting it because I just did it barely last week was that sisterhood uh, March Madness. Um, right. And that I'm just going to keep for the rest of, for the rest of March, you know, so if people don't get a uh, hard, um, 22 minute hardcore, then obviously I'm not going to add them to the 10 hut, uh, group. I'll just add them to the sisterhood kind of a group. Um, and that one may turn into sort of like a freebie ish kind of a group. If it's if I have a lot of people that are um, just unsure, you know, maybe nervous, and uh -huh. you know, that's where I'll let them in, so that they can just get an idea of you know what coaching is all about, what our challenge groups are all about, kind of a thing, um, and go that route. I'm fine with doing it like that, but not necessarily giving so much free content, you know, like clean eating tips and recipes and blah blah blah. Right. Um, I'd rather save that for my actual challenge groups you know, who I know are needing those new kinds of recipes to, to continue it and actually have success in their programs. Right. Um, and it's just showing, it's just recognizing like my value, you know, like my recipes have value. Like right. before I didn't have that feeling. I was like, well, I've got to give them something to like me or to want to be with me and join me. Now I'm like, Oh no, no. Like that's a hot commodity. Um, like I just posted, I don't remember one of my posts, but that, you know, joining my challenge group, you get, um, you get a seven day meal plan and grocery list. I don't know why I never thought to actually say that because I give it to you anyways. <laughs> when you right. sign up, I give you that. Why did I not actually like, hello, that's a value that people some people at the beginning, they don't even know how to create a meal plan. They're so overwhelmed with the food list and this and that. Like, shoot, I've been giving it to the people and not even holding that 
that's valuable and, sh and telling people, when you sign up for me, you not only get me free as a coach, but you get a free meal plan and grocery list with recipes. Right. Right? It seems so simple, and we, like, and we just, like, we've been doing it for so long and eating and the recipes that we devalue it. But for somebody brand new, I mean, you know, like, you've had to go to people and cook for them. Like, that's a value to be able to have a recipe that they could do that's simple and not crazy, not with a million different weird ingredients that they don't even know or don't even know where to get it from. That's, like, crucial. So. Right. I think it's taking that hard look and really um, breaking apart what we're posting, what is actually um, engaging, what people actually are responding to, and using that, you know. So for you, you know, you sort of have to dig a little deep and sort of, you know, I would, I would do one day as like, you know, empty nest syndrome, you know, like that's what you're going through, you're empty nester now. Right. What do you do? <laughs> so I would do every day, you know, like here's a tip how I got through it or, you know, or that can be your engaging question. You know what I mean? Like ask people to help you. You know what I mean? Then they'll, then they'll be like, oh, she needs some help. She needs some, and some guidance. She's not, you know, perfect and doesn't have all the answers. Okay. Because you know, that's sort of where you're at. Um, I'm going to stop recording because I want to say something else. So.